Lawrence over to have a few words with LaPointe, and we have an ugly scene down below. At the players' bench, Gord Lane came over to have a few words at LaPointe, and all heck breaks loose here at the Springfield Civic Center. A real ugly scene, riot light conditions here in Springfield as Lane and LaPointe had words, and oh my, this is a scary situation here in Springfield as all the players square off. LaPointe had a few words for Bacota, and Lane came right to his defense. And then those two went at it. And Boy, you hate to see the sticks involved. That's what's really scary, you Rich. You do, John. Sad, you can hear the sticks hitting helmets from up here, and that is not a good, a good sign. And, you know, you, you can't blame Gord Lane for defending his player. As uh, Bacota was skating off, and uh, LaPointe had some words for Mick, and... Uh, Hey, Gord came over and uh, gave LaPointe a few words back, but then now it's starting to get ugly, and uh, you hope it just doesn't get any worse than this. Bakota comes back on the ice. He's looking for anybody here. One of the uh, Indians trainers tried to stop him, I think, but now uh, Mick looking to go, and uh, it seems to a little bit starting to... Uh, players pairing off now, but uh, there's still all straps going on. Check that. Dolman and Julian now going along the near board. Boudreaux has a hold of Nanashek. He's trying to get in at Vern Smith. Now Huff and Smith are squared off. Henry and Mayotte went at it in this melee, which is broken out. League president Jack Butterfield in attendance tonight. Now the goaltender Ford has a hold of someone. He wrestles him down to the ice. Well, he's Huff got and Wakeland getting involved. And Wakeland has a hold of Ron Tugnut, the two backup goaltenders, and Wakeland pounds away on Tugnut. Wakeland pounds away on Ron Tugnut. And now Jensen, Jensen throws his equipment. Well, that's one of the uglier scenes you're going to see right here. All breaking out with 1.56 left in the second period. Well, Ford got a hold of Jensen and jumped on top of him, and the two backup goaltenders got involved. And Jensen ended up throwing his uh, his gloves at in the direction of Marty Wakeland, and uh, the ice just uh, uh, a picture of sticks and gloves and. Uh, uh, Really not a not a pleasant sight to see, John. Now Vakoda is being now, held Lane. back by Gord Lane along the near boards as Jacques Mayotte of Fredericton came over to whisper a few words of wisdom to him. No, I think no, out of the Dolman, penalty box. Out of the Dolman. penalty box. We have all sorts of infractions here, Rich. And Dalman wails away, and here we go again. Mayotte blindsides Henry Julian over the top. It's Poudrier and Dolman in mid-ice. Ford still going at it. He and Jensen have a hold of each other. Bokasak off the play and Sandlack are tied up. But nothing's coming from that right now. I hate to say this, John, but the, the first thing that comes to mind is slap shot old-time hockey. Oh, eh? Really? It's not a good reflection of things, but when tempers flare... It really breaks out. Paddock and Kid going at it in front of us. Paddock just the uh, level Kid. He's on top of Kid right now. And I mean, you feel like a, a boxing announcer. There's fights just going on uh, all around the ice. Our high camera here, Rich, picking it all up. No need to describe. The pitchers really do the job. What you don't want to see is someone get hurt now. And I can see one of the Federal as Dakota takes down Scott Shaughnessy. But uh, one of the express players now. We saw it for a second. Now we're looking at Vakoda once again, but uh, it looks like uh, it's Mayon who's uh, really been pummeled. Just looking He's to hurt. the referee now, Kushner, for help. Excuse me, Rich, but Kushner and Agnew are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Right there, there's the two of them. They're not dancing the anniversary waltz. Well, Schick is going to have his hands full here. I'll tell you what, trying to uh, sort this thing out, and uh, boy, that's a something you hate to see is Mayon is going off with a towel to his head. Uh, evidently, he's been cut. He's wrapping the towel around his head as you look at the two goaltenders standing side by side and uh, Mokasak trying to get going as the linesman and Schick are trying to hold him back. This, this is an ugly scene. Now the Remember the, the game last year uh, I was here for against New Haven where yeah. they had that, old, that altercation where oh, yeah. uh, Radicke, the Nighthawks, slipped yeah. the puck at one of the Indians, and uh, that started a, a big brawl similar to this one. Did it broke Kalikowski's nose there, and uh, it all broke out that night also. Now the fans get involved along the near boards. There's no excuse for that, and hate to see that. Security really hard-pressed to get the entire situation under control. 
It all began as Gord Lane came to the defense of his player, Mick Bacota, left the ice surface after LaPointe gave Bacota a tongue lashing. Lane came over, and then LaPointe wanted to go with Lane, and then the players went at Lane, the Fredericton players, poking at him with a stick. And there you see the 34-year-old coach of the Springfield Indians, Gord Lane. Well, if you remember, Gord Lane as a player, again, wasn't someone to no. back down, and I'm not trying no. to, to justify what he did there, but when they review all this, you got to go back to Ron LaPointe. Now, he, there was no need, no need for him for to, to nope. give words to Mick Bacota as Bacota skated off. Bacota had his, had his say with one of the uh, uh, Fredericton players. He was going off, and LaPointe had to open his mouth, and uh, really that's what started this ugly incident. That's right, and, and our film should indicate that. And he precipitated the entire situation. Ron LaPointe did as he had a few words. Like I said, John, you just hope that no one uh, no one gets hurt as a result of this. And uh, It's very easy with, with players and sticks flying and guys getting getting pushed. And uh, uh, that may have, what may have happened to the uh, Ferriton player, Mayotte, is he may have gotten cut by a skate blade as he went out. There were so many separate bouts going, uh, going on at the time. And... Uh, well, you hate to see someone get hurt, but especially because of, of something like this, it's just kind of needless to say. 156 left in the seventh, second period. It's Fredericton four and Springfield three. And an all-out melee has broken out here at the Springfield Civic Center. It all started as Lakota went at it with Shaughnessy. And as Lakota was leaving the ice surface, he and the coach of the Express, Ron LaPointe, had words. Coach Gord Lane of Springfield came over to the defense of Bacota, and then the riot scene broke out. And now it's up to Rob Schick to somehow decipher this entire situation and assess penalties. If there's one thing in a positive note you could say, and maybe this is fishing a little bit for something positive out of this, John, but I'll tell you what, I don't think, and I don't know if, if anything pulls a, a club closer together right. than something like this. Right. I'm, I'm trying to find a, a yeah. positive out of a, a obviously a negative situation and uh, it definitely does bring the guys together and that's I guess the only good thing you can see out of something like this. Well Schick is going to take his time to assess the situation he's calling a halt to the period with 156 left in the second so we will have a 21 minute 